Previously on Space Dangus. I was on a mission for science, transporting a cannon passenger to the Pleiades. But as usual, things didn't go according to plan. I was suddenly hyperdicted by a Thargoid claiming to be another species and wanting to help me solve a mystery. He sent me to the California Nebula to find out why the Alliance was building secret bases. At Mick Turner Mounds, I found a large well, mound of fungus. But I was attacked by the local police force. The only way out was to fake my own death in a feat of incredible acrobatics and space maneuvers. But my investigation had only just begun. With the help of my part-time space butler, Harvey, we set loose on the California Nebula, checking out all the sites, like the Darwin Asteroid Base, built to look exactly like a rock. And I checked out the volcanic campfires in the Ford Research Laboratory, where I witnessed the life-spawning lava factories. And finally, I found the secretive pumpkin patch, the one the Alliance doesn't want anyone to know about. But what does it all mean? Find out! On the conclusion of the California Conspiracy... Conspi... Space things. Mysteries. What are they? They're just things we don't know yet. And how do we solve them? Well, you gotta check stuff out. Which is exactly what Harvey and I were doing. Moseying about in the pumpkin patch. Analyzing cordyceps for Thargoid emissions while doing a little SRV workout. And bounce, and bounce, and bounce, and bounce... Okay, Harvey, that's enough science for now. Back at the McTurner Bark Mounds, we had found several parasitic cordyceps. Now, on Earth, cordyceps were deadly to some insects and spiders. My own encounters with the Thorgoids led me to believe they had some insectoid qualities to them, mainly because they're buggy as hell. But was the Alliance out here looking for a weapon? Or helping them with a cure? And what the hell are those dots on my radar? SRV Sierra Papa Alpha, oh. stand down, store weapons, and immediately state your intentions, please. Yes, so Melanie, um, the, I've got a gimp mask and a ball gag here with your name on them. Do you think we can do that thing again on Saturday night? Commander Sol, please, you are on the open comms. Guys, oh, shit, uh, uh, never mind. Specialist, the cops. Relax, Harvey, the police are our friends. These guys look serious. Okay, just just don't tell them anything, okay? SRV Spatula and SRV Harvey, please state your intentions. This is Alliance Defense Force. You are on Alliance territory. You are violated of a secure zone. Spatula, it's Alliance Defense Force. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, Harvey, I don't think these are Alliance cops at all. There's something worse. Role players. Oh uh, no. Donuts. Donuts. Donuts are floating away. Come back. You fuck with me. Donuts. Oh. This one's gone fully into character. What do we do? We're gonna have to fight them at their own game. I don't know, we should just do what they say. I guess. Yeah. Right? I Shush, mean, uh, Harvey, let me handle this. SRV Spatula, this is Alliance Security. SRV Spatula, you have 10 seconds to comply. You state your intentions and get back into your ship. You must leave now. All data scans must be dropped. Call link open. All right, listen up, you Alliance Donut Heads. Uh, I mean, the officers. This is Captain Sp... Turner here. Sp... Turner, yes. I'm a descendant of Mick Turner himself, the famous explorer. The Sp... got added much later. But I've come here to visit my ancestor's base, which I also now own, and pick up the Thargoids that were growing there, so I can finally open my Thargoid amusement park, which will go smoothly without any hitches or people getting eaten. You can confirm that we are growing Thargoids at Mick Turner Base, yes? Um, no, no, the, look, the fact is, it, 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 it's not Mick Turner, it's Mickey Turner, the 22nd century jazz artist. Yeah, President Marlon was a big fan of him, so he decided to name it after him. There's nothing going on, it's perfectly normal, they're just researching uh, a cure for the common cold. Yeah, that's it, it's a cure for the common cold. Just move along, move along, go on. I don't think he's buying it, Harvey. SRV special, please move along immediately or we will open fire. Okay, Harvey, I hope you're a good driver. Ten, never gets me alive! <laughs> run, run, run to the hills! Marin Research Base Traffic Control, Alliance Defense Force DNA-DK, requesting authorization for live munitions fire within the secure zone. Permission acknowledged. Commence in bombing run. Did he just say bombing run? Uh-oh. Oh no! Now space mines, when used in a planet's atmosphere, basically convert into bombs. 
If Harvey and I headed back to our ships now, we'd be sitting ducks. The only choice we had was to weave between the pumpkins, using them as cover from attacks above, and wait for an opening to escape. The python tried to smush us like bugs between bombing runs. As I weaved and turned, so did the gears in my head, formulating a plan. Uh, look out, Harvey. If there was some way to lead the python into the explosions, around the same time the anaconda needed to rearm, that might buy us enough time to get to our ships and get airborne. Okay, Harvey, get ready for the plan. Are you... Okay, just don't die for a minute, okay? Like Rain Man, I had keeping count of explosions, measuring time between bombs. We have a ten-second window to make this happen. Holy shit. Okay. Get ready, Harvey. And... Okay, come on, Harvey. You're gonna get us both killed. Get it together, man! Okay, after this pass, we should be good. We'll have to get the Python's attention. Um... Hey, Python! Look at me! I've got a tasty little snack for you! Come on, Python! Come on! Come on! Ah! It worked! Oh, his engines are knocked out! Okay, one more bombing run and the Anaconda should need to reload. Harvey, we've only got one chance to get to our ship, so get ready. Harvey? Harvey? This is no time for pumpkin jumping, you silly sod. Alright, now wait for it. Wait for it. And... Okay, that's it. The Anaconda's reloading. Let's go. Wait, do you hear something? Harvey, did you hear that noise? What? Wait. That's a Thargoid! What? Did the Thargoid just take out that Anaconda? Look, Har Harvey, the Thargoids are helping us! Oh, shit! What's he doing to that ship? Just let DNA decay up! Uh, th Harvey, th there's still mines exploding. We gotta go. Come on, move, 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 move. Get to the ship! Yeah, lots of explosions, lots of explosions. Navigating, navigating. Where's that Thargoid at? Oh, man, look at that. The ship is it's, it's, it's infected with electricity. Ooh. That was pretty. Okay, no time for dawdling, Harvey. We gotta get in there. Come on, I'll teach you a trick. You gotta go quick uh, on this. Don't, don't board your ship normally. Just... Uh, initiate self-destruct on your SRV and then jump when I tell you. Like, you're making it worse. It goes, it goes faster, uh, I swear. That's hot. That's Whee! Hot. Okay, Why well, whatever you want. Everything's so hot. Alright, it was looking like about time to blow this pumpkin patch before those Alliance cops came back, where that Thargoid changed its mind. That's the Thargoid special. So why don't we go after it? But Harvey, you don't have any weapons on your ship. And besides, did you not see what it just did to DNA Decay? Oh, yeah. Anyway, luckily we had made a narrow escape thanks to our Thargoid friend, but there was no more room for errors. The Alliance knew now that I wasn't dead, and would no doubt be waiting for me at every point of interest in doubling up on security. You see, back in the bubble I might have to worry about prison time, but out in California, far away from space, people have met their deaths for lesser crimes than trespassing. However, before I could finish solving this mystery, there was one more system I needed to check out. And I wasn't about to let a tiny superpower stop me. The last stop on this investigation was a system with two planetary installations. One on the moon of an ammonia gas giant, the other on a rocky planet. Strange signals seemed to converge on this planet, and that's what I was going to check out first. Getting bombed by those two Alliance boneheads in the pumpkin patch had, well, it got me thinking. I mean, how many people had made their home out here? There's enough bases to make a living, doing trade, and it's certainly not as far as Colonia. Would all the denizens of this region try to bomb us? Or would anyone be out here that could help explain what was going on? Stand up. Ah, I see it, Harv. It looks like some kind of array. Definitely an array of something. Yes. But that tower in the middle looked more fitting for a person like Sauron or Voldemort. I rarely encountered facilities that built up so high outside of some of the engineers, so this was definitely a place worth noting in the logbook of mysteries. What were these listening dishes for? An early warning system against invasion? A comms relay for all the bases out here? Or was it an evil supervillain's lair where they're building a giant laser? It certainly was built to look intimidating. A single skyscraper all the way out here in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by an array of satellites pointed in all directions. Well, clearly they didn't want us investigating further, as the heavily defended base began shooting at us. Well, it's time to scramble. I decided it would be best for Harvey and I to split up. 
I'd go and visit the last location while he scanned the local systems, looking for anyone out here that might be a witness to the mystery and willing to talk. Much to my surprise, he didn't come back empty-handed, finding a Commander Kraiko wandering around the nebula. So the guy, I told the guy, I said, oh, such one, I are visiting the Great Pumpkin. And he said, okay, know this, I'm the first person I found this pumpkin, so... All right, we better find out what he knows. Bring him into voice comms, Harv. Good evening. Don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't shoot. You are the, the originator, the discoverer of the Great Pumpkin? Yes. Nice. So, Kraw, you live out here? Like, is this your base? Do you, do you linger here to guard the patch? Is that your mission? Uh, for now, I, I just uh, make a trade and, uh, and uh, some, some stuff. In California, we have um, the, the Renmorch laboratory work on the, the gas giant ammonia life because it, it, this is an ammonia life atmosphere. Uh, Gas giant. Right. So uh, huh. and and ammonia uh, and ammonia uh, atmosphere. Thargoids. Uh, Thargoids. Yeah. But 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 all base work on something different. Example, man base work on uh, uh, spunkin or uh, batmon before. Mm. Uh, Turner base work on verticals and uh, bartmonts because uh, on, on Nick Turner base uh, uh, on the same planet you, you can uh, find a barnacle. Well here's my question for you, Krako. What do you think these barnacles are all about? I mean, what are they? Uh, but my theory is uh, maybe ship or uh, or uh, oh, sure. schema or uh, organic schema. Example. Why schemer and not shit? Because the, 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 the X is too small for a shit. So, uh, You couldn't be more right, my friend. Constipation is a mean mistress. But what? Well, I'm, I'm just saying that I understand you, my accented friend. It sounds like you might need a hug. Or perhaps a warmed cup of Cooper Orbital Tea. The only tea that'll take those sorrows and turn them into diarrhea. The only tea that you can buy at Cooper Orbital. Sorry guys, but I need to go. Okay. Did he just... eh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess our informative friend didn't appreciate a good sponsor plug. But I wasn't out here for tea business. I was out here to solve mysteries. I told Harvey to head to Darwin Asteroid Base and wait for me there. While I headed out to a nearby planetary nebula to clear the old noggin so I could figure this out. Okay, Spatula, you have all the pieces of the puzzle. Now it's time to solve this mystery. First, let's look at each clue to understand what it means. Now, the Thargoid who sent me out here claimed to be an Osrian, or something like that. Are there competing factions within the alien hierarchy itself? And why would they want me to expose Alliance operations out here? But speaking of, the Alliance is all over this place with their role-playing goon squads. The Alliance is a web of interconnected, independent governments. But more importantly, the logo is a triangle. Need I say more? Mick Turner was an Alliance explorer and founder of the Alliance. But has anybody actually seen him in person? Now look at that name again. Mick, like microscopic. And Turner, like somebody who turns a lot. Did Mick Turner even really exist? Or was it always an Alliance code name for turning a microscopic organism into a weapon? But a weapon for who? The fungus growing by Mick Turner's base is called the Bark Mounds. Now what else has bark? That's right, dogs. And what are dogs? Man's best friend. Are these Bark Mounds to be man's best friend when the Thargoids invade? The fungus is crawling with cordyceps, which are insect parasites. Pesticides were called for in the construction of Mick Turner Base, which is also an insect killer. The well-guarded array of satellites and the evil spire of Sauron looks like their command center. Perhaps each satellite pointing to a different base to monitor their results. But there were definitely more satellites than bases that I had found. What else could be out here? 
Red March Lab is nearby to an ammonia gas giant with life. Thargoids live on ammonia worlds. Human urination contains ammonia. That was an unrelated fact. The fumaroles near Ford Research Base might be a source of life in this area. They shoot out lava, which is quite dangerous. But so is life. Only life doesn't melt your face as quickly as lava can. So be careful. Now the space pumpkins, or Thargords, if you will, are very important. Pumpkins are associated with Halloween where people dressed up in disguises and went out looting in their neighborhoods for luxury food. Could there already be Thargoids among us, disguised in plain sight? And how do these all connect? The fumaroles somehow created life in California, via Planispermia, a fungal growth, likely the source of a microscopic virus. Perhaps after enough time, the bark mounds will turn into pumpkins with the help of the cordyceps. The Alliance knew the history of this place and set up research bases, using Mick Turner as their code name to send out a dog whistle for those who knew the truth. Were they out here developing a weaponized virus to take out the Thargoids? But there was a piece of the puzzle missing. You see, Kryko had told me there were barnacles out here too. Perhaps the barnacle is the space pumpkin's final form. But how do they connect to the Thargoids? The barnacles were my first ever mystery and it all come full circle. Now what do we know about barnacles? They produce meta-alloys. Now meta-alloys have been known to cure stations which have been shut down by too much fun at the hands of unknown probes, which is definitely Thargoid in origin. But we've never seen any proof that barnacles and Thargoids are connected any other way. If I could find a barnacle out here, maybe I'd find the final clue. I met with Harvey at Darwin Base and told him to take my cannon passenger back to the Gnosis to make sure the info we had gathered so far got out to the galaxy. Now this last mission would be very dangus, so I was going in alone. Just one spatula against a nebula of enemies. Those Alliance goons were no doubt still looking for me, but I returned to the planet where Mick Turner Base was located. And sure enough, when I found the Barnacle location, Commander DNA was there waiting. Ah, oh, Commander Spatula, I see we meet again. Indeed. Are you going to bomb me again, or should I call my Thargoid friend? It seems you have friends in high places. Yes, and I found out that the Alliance is studying all kinds of things out here. Mysterious things. Yes, it is. The Alliance is out here studying these and other growths, which no doubt you have already stumbled upon if you have been to McTurner Base. I know that much already, DNA. But what I don't know is why the barnacles are so important. Are these the flowers, and the Thargoids, the birds, and the bees? Am I here staring at a giant space tit? Are you still hearing me, DNA? DNA Decay? Hello? 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 Huh. I guess something must have scared him off. Wait a minute. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh shit. Uh, hello? Uh, are you the Australian Thargoid thing that saved me? No. Sorry. There are no Austrians. That was retconned by the Time Lords long ago. I'm afraid you've fallen victim to a Chaz. A, a Chaz? Is that a relative of the Thargoids? No. There are only Thargoids. Chaz is my younger brother. And last Thargoids, I got him a camera for his ship. And he's been making these pranks on humans for Goid Tube. He calls it Space Thangas. Wait, you're telling me I'm out of here because of a Thargoid prank? Yes, Chaz is a dick. But, but wait, wait, wait. What's the relationship between Barnacles and Thargoids? I was about to solve the mystery. Oh, that's simple. Long ago, you human jerks infected our race with an STD known as Mygoid, named after Mick Turner, the human who didn't wear his carapace during first Thargoid-human coupling. Now all Thargoids are infected but the meta-alloys of the barnacles reduce the symptoms. That's incredible! We gave you space herpes, and barnacles cure it. Yes, but come now, I will put you back where you came from. Ah! Where are you taking me? Stop! Please, please! I, I don't want to be probed! My, my doctor said I shouldn't put things up that way. Hey, so that's what you look like. Ugh, who designed your haircut?
we're back. Oh, wait, back where? This isn't the California Nebula. This is the Pleiades. Well, what just happened? Where, where's my ship? Oh, oh, there it is, crashing all on its own. Who is this here? Commander Wizard IRL? Oh, wow, I love his YouTube channel. As if this episode didn't have enough cameos. But wow, I solved the mystery. We gave the Thargoids herpes, and the Barnacles produced Preparation H. The Alliance just wants to get back into the Thargoid pants. Now there's just the mystery of where the heck I was for the last nine hours. But that's a mystery for another Dangus. This has been a special extended Dangus. Extend your own Danguses in the comments with your own theories on what else the Alliance wants to fornicate with. And hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully I can inspire a few commanders to go check out California and investigate the mysteries there. If you find anything, let me know. Till next Dangus.